Body bags will whore lies. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm your thirsty guy for body bags this week. And today, on this day, I'm doing From Black. Came out this year. Um, it's technically independent, but kind of not because you know Shutter original. So what can I say, right? Um, a recovering drug addict, desperate for closure, and saddled by crushing guilt after the disappearance of her young son is presented with a bizarre offer to learn the truth about what re about what happened and set things right if she's willing to pay a terrifying price. How far is she willing to go for a chance at redemption? And um uh, it was it wasn't bad. You know, it wasn't the greatest thing ever. I think one of the things I hate in movies is when I go to watch a type of movie where all the characters are just whispering until like something big happens and then like it's just super loud but like you know it's like there's it's either no well, not either you watch a movie and it's two different kinds of scenes where everyone's whispering or when everyone's yelling and screaming kind of thing and I hate it I hate it so much or just you know everyone's like whispering or like kind of just talking quiet and then like the music is like really loud and it's like oh my god headache <laughs> mm. but I mean it's not terrible it's pretty solid I guess I guess when it's all said and done, my only real gripe about it is that I, uh, was that I put my, my sound up to 50 trying to listen to this movie and I still couldn't really hear it because there, it's like, it sounded like they got quieter and quieter the louder I turned up, which was like, oh my God, no. But yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, I couldn't really hear them that much and you know it's still kind of indie and whatnot so there's gonna be this and that that's gonna uh, right this is one of the fastest ones I could already tell you that so I guess yeah I guess after I'm done with this which I'm about to be I'll just talk about something else for a moment um if I had to rate this movie right now I would probably give it something yeah, it's probably just a seven. Yeah, the only real problem I had with the movie was the, uh, just the sound. And I guess the first half was a little bit, you know, taking a sweet time. But, you know, other than that, you know, it's fine. Not terrible. Not, you know, great. Uh, it's just one of those movies, right? One of those movies right in the middle. But I mean, you know, still with the shot. Uh, if it was at Walmart, it probably still is at Walmart. So you probably have a chance if you want to go and grab it, seeing uh, an easy 10 bucks. It's probably not good to call it bucks anymore than that. I don't know, just think about it. You know, you're like, oh, 10 bucks. You, they're probably gonna be like, you know, you gotta change that. You gotta say 10 does. <sighs> ah, that would suck. But yeah, when it's all said and done, this was like a seven out of 10. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it just like blew your mind right there, right? Yeah, um, well, I think, I'm trying to think of some kind, some type of, like, video ideas or whatever, just for my main channel, and I'm thinking,
thinking something I might do is do a, f a few different top fives. One of them just being like all time favorite movies. Then it's like an all time favorite horror movie, you know, top five. And you know, maybe like a top five movies that I have because I mean like, I have a rather small collection to be completely honest with you. It's about, uh, how many movies is this? It's probably around one to one fifty. Yeah, because a lot of the di a lot of the holders I have are like already hold like a bunch of movies. Like I have, uh, like I got all the the Universal Frankenstein movies, and it's on the uh, Legacy Collection. And then I would have stuff like the King of Horror it expanded edition, where it's like eight movies based off Stephen King's works and whatnot. So yeah, I got a lot of movies. Um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, I just started just talking about random stuff. Yeah, I'm just going like all the way out there, right? Um, yeah, I guess that's, I guess there's really nothing else I could really say. You know, I guess I like the very beginning of this movie where, um, like the oh, just the opening credits because it's like it shows like these like countryside looking areas except like during the fall or whatever and so it already looks kind of dark and gloomy a bit and then it has like this type of music that feels like you know it's more than just it's it's like this feeling this is the type of music that gives you this feeling that's like it's bigger than you, yourself kind of thing. It's like uh, there's more out there than just things you could feel. It's like there's something spiritual kind of thing. Or it's just, you know, <clears throat> it's bigger than you will ever be kind of thing. I don't, I don't know how to exactly describe it, but that's how I kind of thought of putting it. But yeah, I mean, solid movie. It wasn't, it wasn't the worst or best thing ever. But you know, it's a Shutter original, so it's got that going for it. But yeah, um, I guess that's it. Um, to be completely honest. Oh, wow. So I'm Sam, I'm your thirsty guy for body bags. This week I chose to do From Black. And I gave it a 7 out of 10. Definitely uh, worth a check out, you know? It's not on Tubi, so that sucks. <laughs> you know me. If it's on Tubi, it's gotta be great, right? Um, yeah, it's like... It's like on Prime, or like I think it might be on like AMC. I don't know. But I know it's at Walmart for like 10 bucks, so if you have 10 bucks to spare, you should go ahead and buy it, add it to your collection. Stick it down your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all next week. Bye.